Good morning. Good morning. We almost had a little glitch there. Sorry, folks. We had to come on a second time, but uh, you got it. You <laughs> did it. We did it. It's Monday morning, June nineteenth, twenty seventeen, and this is Mondays with Bev and Paul. Good morning, mm-hmm. Bev. Good morning, Paul. Yes, sir. This, did you have a good weekend? I did. I got to spend it uh, a little bit south of here with my uh, my daughter and son-in-law and my three grandchildren it was wonderful well, it might be south but it's higher it was it, so it was cooler it, it was a little cooler <laughs> than here yeah yes sir folks we're going to be at 110 at least today okay. maybe 115 oh welcome to tucson <laughs> i we know love it. i know <laughs> we just uh, stayed out in the pool the pool's actually starting to bubble <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, hot it's springs. A, it's a Bowie Lagoon. Right, it's a hot springs. Hot springs. <laughs> so uh, we hope everybody had a happy Father's Day. Right. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, happy uh, Father's Day. Yes. And uh, also, just wanted to share about the Hopalea uh, that uh, came into Hawaii. I was I was on uh, Facebook and saw this live stream, and it was the presentation of them coming back. They'd spent so it's a. A, a double outrigger, like a canoe, and it went for three years around the world. The, the statistics: forty-seven thousand nautical miles, eighty-five ports, and twenty-six uh, cities that they went to around wow. the world. What a, and it took what them three a... years, and it was all done naturally. They do it just by the sky, their own instinct. They don't use any, you know, GPS kinds of oh, things. Oh, like yeah. the North Star yeah. and all. That so it was amazing. an awesome thing, just bringing that aloha spirit around the world. Wow. And, uh, it oh, just, how uh, incredible. Yeah, it was very inspiring to watch the live presentation and the chanting. and the, It just went on for hours all day long, and all kinds of people there. So, so That's beautiful. Welcome to uh, the aloha spirit around yeah, the world. Yeah, absolutely. Always reminds me of when we were in Hawaii doing BioTouch. You know, that was just an awesome time. You know, oh, my just, gosh. I can't. People always used to say to me, well, what do you, do you like? Tucson better or Hawaii better? It was like, do oh I have to God. choose? Yeah, there was no choice. I mean, <laughs> right. Hawaii is more the fluid and the wind, and Hawaii and Tucson is more earthy and, and, and fire. Yeah, but it has the same kind of energy. And I met this woman. She was at a Lions Club meeting. She was a psychic. She said, "Well, it's interesting you say that because both places are on the same vortex." Of the planet, oh. so they have the same energy to oh, them. That's They're just different, crazy. Oh, wow. different that's crazy! Oh, that's really attributes. interesting. Yeah. So that answers my question: of all the places, why Tucson? Yeah, yeah. We had to be in Tucson, so we had to be in Hawaii. Amazing. We had to be in Tucson to share biotech. Yeah, absolutely. So here we are. Now we're global. We're global because we have live Facebook. So thanks for letting us into your house. Yeah, that's great. So what are we going to talk about today? Oh, let's do the dream catcher. Dream catcher. Here we go. There's our beautiful dream catcher in our center here in Tucson. And, um, you know, we've been hosting this, what, about eight, nine months. Um, Lorraine Mills uh, graciously, um, you know, gifted us with that for a while. And um, global effort, she visualized it and actually started manifesting it um, on December 12, 2012. Yep. Just, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. And again, it's four feet across mm-hmm. and all with mesquites, wood. Yeah. Uh, and this week we put into the center Who Mary Sheilor. Oh, yes, sir. Nice. She is a longtime recipient. For years, she yeah. used to come in here and said, you know, the day she retired, she'd help out. And sure enough, she just retired last year, and she's on our staff now. So and happy. so she is in the center of the dream catcher. Thank you, Mary, for all your service yes. that you do. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, it's been great having her be part I of the know. team. Oh, she's great. Yep. So, so blessed to have her with us. Yeah. Okay, so we want to share some more testimonials from the class. Remember this class that we did a couple weeks ago? Look at all those people. Wow. Isn't that great? I love that picture. You did good on that picture. I know. We're going to have to do more of that standing up on the chair. Right, exactly. So, uh, you know, we have a couple of uh, testimonials that we, you know, you you did your... uh, Hi, interview <laughs> with you, <laughs> the sportscaster. The <laughs> okay, here we are. You're my on the field. <laughs> right, I'm You're the my cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a couple more testimonials, and and these are great because it it took the youngest person who was in her twenties, yeah. and the eldest who I think uh, is like in the eighties, mid eighties, mid eighties. So we'll yeah. show the first one first. Uh, the first one first. First we'll, one first. We'll okay. show the the elder first. Uh, right. This is Ursula, so and here so we here we go. Ursula, she's taking. 
taking our practitioner training class this weekend. Yes. This is the second day. You're going to be a practitioner at the end of this day and able to share BioTouch. So tell me, how has this class been working for you this weekend? Well, I'm inspired because I have, I'm going to go to the East Coast in August and I have six weeks, six weeks in order to learn this well enough so I can teach it to my kids, teach it to my son who has a little problems wow. here and there. And I just, I'm just excited. Oh, this is perfect. It's perfect because there's a, this is what the foundation is doing, teaching this technique so you can in turn share it with everyone in your life. It's perfect. It is. It's perfect. And the thing is, I thought, oh, six weeks in Tucson with the heat. I mean, who needs that? Really? <laughs> hey, so I thought, oh, well, you know, I can learn this. And I can get myself going with it and, and feel empowered in the teaching aspect. Ah, there you go. That's what I'm going for. And, you know, in spite of the fact that I have a little, you know, memory problem. Hey. We can work on that Bio too. Touch can work on that one. So, yeah. Ursula, thank you so much for being with us this weekend. We are so excited about you being able to share. So thank, thank you. Thank you too. Yes, sir. She was awesome. She was wonderful. Turns out a lot of people in Tucson know her. <laughs> hey, and here she is. She's like, boy, I got I got six weeks, and then yep. I got to go and share BioTouch. Yep. So she's already come in. She's done her uh, orientation. So we look forward to you, Ursula, showing up and doing some intern. Doing with some intern. Oh. And, you know, she'll get it. Oh, my gosh. You know, it's just repetition. You know, there's, you know, so what do you say? You already got it. Right, right. You're sitting in that class. You give the greeting. You already got it. Already yeah, got it's all, it. it belongs to us. It's already innate. So, so we look forward to working with her and Absolutely. having her meet people and then going back to the East Coast, working with her family. Oh, I mean, what gosh. an awesome thing. I want to share it with my family, my, family. my kids, this my son. This is exactly what it's, it's all about. Yeah. It's yeah. what it's, it's all what about. It's what it's all about. And so now we want to share with you... Uh, the other end of the age spectrum, <laughs> <laughs> with her glasses on here. I know. Let's see. So this is uh, Nicole. Oh, you're so. going to be able to, at the end of today, you're going to be considered a practitioner. You're going to be able to go out in your sphere of influence and work with other people and, and share the points with them. Yeah. We're really excited about that. Yeah. 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 I'm excited, too, because I know it works, and people need simple things like that. Like, mm. everyone's looking for something. And they can never find exactly what that is that they yeah. need to get better, you know? It's something so fundamental. People need to get back to the basics and the fundamentals of existence and life and reality, like good food, clean water, bio-touch is a good one to incorporate, you know, natural remedies, herbs, yeah. spices. Oh, there you go. All this stuff. It's, Perfect. You know, yep. it's simple. Simplistic is better. You try to make things complicated, it doesn't... Yep, it doesn't work. And as we know, BioTouch is so integrated with all of that. It's just <clears throat> wonderful. So, yeah. yeah so, exactly. Nicole, thanks for being with us this yeah. weekend. We're really excited about having you. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a good uh, journey for sure. <laughs> yep, I think so. Thanks, Aliyah. Awesome. You know, it's great when a mid 20 year old uh, woman really understands the importance of simplicity. I know? know, it's crazy. But you know what? I, I, I think there's a, something shifting in, in all of us that is starting to remind us that this is really how we can be again. Uh, simple. And uh, of course, you know, we always have that conversation about BioTouch. It's how sim simple it is. How simple it is. And so, you know, I, I just was uh, starting to write my little blog and I came up with this little quote, uh, a Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius from the 120 AD said, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. Mm. And I thought about, you know, we have a, a quote in our book, uh, in our manual. It says, with a simple intent to help one fellow human beings and proper instruction, assistance may be initiated by any individual. So, a simple intent mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know I mean we always say too there's no intent Pinched. needed yeah you know you, but the simple intent is just the the wanting to help another human being and that's innate in all of us you know it's so interesting because when I I, I think what happens uh, at least I can speak for myself before I learned BioTouch um, and when I think back 
if, if something were to have come up and you know with somebody in my family or I there's really nothing I could have done I would just stand by and you know I don't know what BioTouch I'm and more and more I'm getting this when I when somebody it happened this weekend with my granddaughter oh my arm hurts I went over gave her the <laughs> green and started working on her arm now that's just in that's crazy that's and amazing and I'm, I was telling my daughter this morning I mean any time that one of your children or your husband whatever comes up you have something that you can step in and change that whole I don't know it just equalizes everything it helps them right. instantly and and you know that the simple part of it is everybody's got it you yeah. know there's no it's you can we can go anywhere and share this with people. I know you know, they don't have to bring in some light or, you know, churn up some energetic vortex to get the... It's like, you got it right here, Got folks. it right it's there. It's just right here. And you don't have to call a professional. You don't right. have to take anybody right away. You know, of course, if it's an emergency situation. But even in the emergency situation, BioTouch is amazing. But for, you know, a little headache or earache or I'm, ha I'm a little stressed out today... To be able to go step over, give the greeting, and do whatever set that entails for somebody that I don't care if it's a coworker, a friend, right. or a family. To be able to share that with somebody, that is incredible. I'm just you can do it anywhere. You anywhere. Know, when you say a coworker, I mean uh, we I had uh, we taught a class once. Uh, it was these women. They were part of a customer service thing for the telephone company. And a very stressful job, and, and I remember them telling us that, so three of them took the class. And what they would do while they were on the phone being yelled at, they would work on each other's <laughs> neck and, and head work, and just it just helped them get through the stress of the whole day. I mean, talk about simple. <laughs> well, and, and what's, what's interesting, I was actually having this conversation this morning with my daughter, because I was talking about the simplicity of BioTouch. She's like, Mom, I really have to learn this more and so I can be able to help my kids and my husband. Um, so I said, you know, all of us have ha come up against the simplicity. It, like, we're not wired to, right. to think simple. It all has to be complicated. We all have to go outside of that nucleus to look for somebody who's a professional and can help us. So we're not used to doing that. And it's almost like an afterthought. Oh my right. gosh, I could have, I could have done BioTouch. Yep. Oh dear, yeah. So we're here to sh keep reminding you: simple, simple, simple. <sighs> Henry Thoreau used to say, "Simplify, simplify, simplify." And BioTouch is just a way to do that for your healthcare Not to bring back that birthright to be healthy, happy, and loved. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So we have another way for people to get that, and that's with the book. You know, if, if you have any friends or family who they're not quite sure about wanting to get involved in something like this, have them read the book, have BioTouch. Read the book. Yeah, Healing yes. with the Power in Our Fingertips, mm. written by Deborah Schildhouse. And it's just such a fun book to read and really gets people inspired. So we're going to read another bit of the uh, a chapter. This oh, is from Chapter 2 again, yeah? Yeah, Chapter 2. And uh, Deborah's already sitting in the class, and uh, mm -hmm. here's what happened to her. Here. Here's what happened. The solar plexus area is the power point of the body, Sandy, our instructor, explained as she pointed to its picture in the BioTouch training manual. It's always the first way a practitioner connects with the recipient. Hold that touch for six to eight seconds, very lightly as if a butterfly landed there. Then take your dominant hand again and touch this point at the back of the neck, holding it lightly for six to eight seconds as well. The two points that make up the greeting set of points will then be completed. That sounded simple enough, and it was easy for the other students in the room. They were a bit clumsy with their greetings, but their enthusiasm made up for it. However, when it was my turn to greet the recipient, my heart raced. I could feel my breathing become quick and shallow. A wave of nausea washed over me as I broke out in a sweat, my usual reaction to serious stress. How was I going to touch this person on the skin of her midsection? I had never had a reason before this to touch someone I didn't know in such an intimate way. Forcing myself to stay calm, I remembered how much I wanted to learn this healing technique. So I gritted my teeth, willing my trembling hand to move toward the woman. She was brave enough to smile. 
but as my frosty fingers connected with her warm skin, she flinched. I jabbered an apology. After managing to touch all the points correctly, it was time for me to remove my shirt and take a turn as the recipient. I unbuttoned my blouse with trembling fingers. This had to be the strangest thing I had ever done in my life. <laughs> uh, I did my so blouse star- with trembling fingers. fingers and I started Deborah's journey. Deborah's journey. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think her husband liked that chapter more than anything, just about the unbuttoning of the blouse <laughs> right. and the, the trembling oh. fingers. <laughs> Biotouch may be pretty cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, so it, it's interesting how, you know, th- there's simplicity right there. You know, someone who had never done any kind of healing work and was doing all these things that just was way out of her comfort zone, and, and but did it. And now, you know, became a certified practitioner, wrote the book, oh. works with her family. And, and was on the staff for a while. Yeah, is on a board now. And, and, and that simple two points of the greeting, we, as we always tell everybody, the moment you give that greeting, you have got it. You are immediately effective. Right there. So let's show the greeting. Yeah. We're going to teach it right now. Absolutely. So you can do it. Here it is. Yep. The greeting is always performed at the beginning of each session. It's the only set that uses one hand and the only set that indicates which hand to use. The greeting is performed with the dominant hand. If you are right-handed, use your right hand. If you are left-handed, use your left hand. The greeting is made by touching at point one, which is in the fleshy area just below the bottom of the breastbone or sternum. Hold this point for six to eight seconds. Then with the same two fingers, touch point two on the back. To find point two, look for the big bone at the base of the neck. From here, move one to one and a half inches to the left. This is point two. Hold this point for six to eight seconds. More than one associate may work with a recipient provided that all of the associates perform the greeting. If the associate or the recipient leaves the session, or if someone who hasn't done the greeting touches either the recipient or the associate, the greeting must be reestablished. There you go. Doesn't get much simpler than that, folks. Boy, but what that does for the body, whoa. Just wow. the greeting. If Just all the you can do is the greeting, you've started a healing process. Yeah. Really? I mean, we're not kidding. We're here. not kidding. The body, <laughs> the body is right at that level of the physical body. It recognizes the touch right there. And so, as you can see, the kids can do it. The family's going to, that's a whole family there in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just, it's so simple. It can be done in front of the TV set. It can be done, you know, before you eat dinner. It can be done before you go to sleep. sleep. It can be done while you're driving on a road trip. I mean, it's just so powerful and so simple. And accessible. Accessible. That's a good word. Yeah. So we teach this to you. We have numerous ways to learn it. Uh, you can go online, download our uh, ebook of the manual with links to the DVD, uh, which, by the way, I have a new DVD coming out with uh, chapters on it. Coming oh. out. It's done. I have oh. to go pick it up. Yay. Uh, also, we have little workshops. So, uh, tell us about the one coming up here. It's Thursday. Yeah, yeah Thursday. This Thursday evening, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah wow. from 6 to 8. And again, our, our two-hour workshops, we um, just present one condition. And this week, it is hiatal hernias and acid reflux, and which you know, a lot of people are experiencing that. So I'm hoping there's going to be... I'm amazed a- how many people are in the center going, oh, I've got this person or my husband's got that yeah. or, or my son's got that, you know. Absolutely. I mean, I, and part of that really comes from such a stressful society that mm, we live in. I know. And that know. whole it's digestive true. thing and everything backs up and yeah. you get tight in that area and so that the little herniated area around the flap of mm-hmm. the esophagus... Right. And, and so, you know, and you think you're having a heart attack and oh my you know, gosh, everything yes. goes numb. Yeah. So yeah. this is a really powerful little workshop. In two hours, we'll give you all the points needed. Yep. It's going to be amazing. You're going to be taking away some an amazing information that you can share with uh, those people in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Two hours is all it two is. Two hours. And it's only 15 bucks. Yep. Ten bucks if you're Ten. a member. <laughs> wow! And uh, any massage therapist out there, you can get five C uh, five two, two CE credits for an extra five bucks. Yeah, so. perfect. 
So let's see, and, and also we have our, we got another uh, Where in the World is Biotouch? Oh, yeah. Okay, and yeah. we have a couple more pictures that came into us this week. So there again is Julie, Julie in San Diego. Uh, I can't remember her name in Sedona. Friend of Deborah's. Yeah, friend of Deborah's. Chetna in uh, India. India. And uh, funny looking at that picture. There we go. That's Dave. That you, Dave. You saw him. He's an Ore in California, uh, Colorado, California. Colorado. And who's that guy oh my in, in the swimming pool? Look at that. I see the bubbles back there from that heat. <laughs> and there you are. There I am in Ashland. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, you know, send us your pictures of the book wherever you are. And uh, it could be in a family gathering. It could be on a trip. Uh, you can even just take a picture of the book. It doesn't have to be with you. Just take a picture of the oh, book right. sitting on a rock or something. Just let us know where it is. Exactly. So we just want to get as many pictures as we can yeah. of BioTouch around Traveling the world. Traveling BioTouch book. Yeah. So... <laughs> All right, and uh, that's another 20-minute show. That's a wrap. Huh? That's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you again yeah. all for letting us into your house on your phone. Thank yeah. you, Bev. Thank you, Paul. Yes. Yes, our little Mondays together. Our little Mondays together. So thank you. We love you all. Take yeah. care. Have a glorious week.